Hey there, Gemini, and thank you for joining me here for your April 2021 reading. We're going to get into some oracle and tarot for you today. Remember, this is a general reading, and um, although probably this entire reading won't uh, resonate with you, or maybe it will, sometimes they do, but but. N nevertheless, these general readings, if you're guided here, I believe are going to offer you some insight and some help and advice and validation for where you are and where you're going. Again, this is for April 2021. Um, so we're going to get started here with the Moonology. But first, let me um, introduce myself if I'm new to you. I'm Infinity. I'm a shaman, mystic, medical medium, psychic, physical empath, ascension coach, spirit guide, uh, and I, I'm a channeler and um, distance <clears throat> excuse me distance energy healer i work with people children and animals worldwide via video conferencing and i offer a lot of services um, on my website as well as my podcast i have free ebooks guided astral meditations and a ton of information on energy chakras healing um and my story is there too if you're interested but i would love for you to take a look and see if there's anything there that i can offer you personally or that um, you may be just interested in getting um, more information about when it comes to energy and healing and chakras and um, spirituality in general. I also have a lot of articles on mymedium.com, so you can get to, to the links um, from for all of that on my website, thehealingbutterfly.org. And... We got a card that flipped, so let's get into it. A personal issue reaches resolution. Full moon in Cancer. So here's our first card. A personal issue re reaches a resolution. Okay, so let's get into it with the tarot to see what else we are going to get here. Or now we're working with some type of issue that's going to be resolved here in April. Taking that card, taking these cards. They're all face down to start, so it's going to be a surprise for all of us. But they have dropped already. There's our fourth card. We're doing six cards. <coughs> Excuse me, with the Light Seer's Tarot. Got two more to get here. Oh. <laughs> okay. Those did not want to go back. So we have a seventh card, Gemini. Let's see what we have here. The wheel, card number 10. And I did flip it over in reverse, but being told we are right side up and we have strength coming in right after the wheel. Wow. And then we have eight of pentacles coming in after the strength card. So the wheel, strength, and eight of pentacles. Next, we have 10 of cups, right side up. Beautiful card here. I love the 10 of pentacles. And king of pentacles after the 10 of pentacles. Wow. Okay. And then the 10 of swords after the king of pentacles. 10 of swords look at that okay and our bonus card is king of cups whoa king of cups really intense energies here gemini first off we had those two cards that I tried to stick back in and they would not, literally would not go. And those are the Ten of Swords and the King of Cups. But we start here with the wheel. 
then strength, then eight of pentacles, ten of cups, king of pentacles, ten of swords, king of cups. So we have ten, king, ten, king. Wow. These are super intense, important, big energies coming through. First off, let's start here with the wheel, dear Gemini. Um, things are definitely moving and they have been, um, but they're going to be moving in a new direction for you. Um, like we started off here with that personal issue reaches a resolution with our moonology oracle. Um, I feel that with this, it's kind of like could be a couple things here i'm feeling and picking up on one of those things being um that your stuckness is in certain aspects there's been like some stuckness i'm hearing um or the need, the, the necessity to have to put stuff off for a bit, to wait until things, something comes to a conclusion. Um, just somebody had needing to leave. Um, there's something, something about that. <clears throat> Uh, this could even be about losing somebody, even like a death in the family or somebody that was very close to you. I'm even picking up on and just needing to take the time to get past that kind of seeing both sides and having the strength to see this from a spiritual standpoint i'm seeing a lot of um spirituality guidance the metaphysics tuning into the moon tuning into energies paying attention to to energies um being guided um But if it wasn't any kind of a, like a death or any type of grieving to get over, um, there's some type of situation with other, with another person or people that definitely took up a lot of energy or that you were helping people or you were in this position where things had to, it was like, this needs to be dealt with and now it's shifting. It could be as broad as the pandemic um, and that maybe you are tied to that in some way. And now that things are kind of shifting in that regard, that now you're shifting as well. So that I'm also picking up on that. I'm also picking up on somebody here being like, kind of like kind of splitting time between science and spirituality which is very interesting <clears throat> um and you know it's so interesting this 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 reading is heavy with this masculine king's energy and the last reading I did for Taurus was super heavy with queens and feminine energy. So we have something very different here. Um, <laughs> my cats are playing <laughs> with themselves and each other. Uh, okay, so we are definitely with these tens and this saying we're reaching resolution this ten of cups this ten of swords are are on that that um trajectory there and look at that i mean look at this look at how these line up with the birds and the cups and that's why i'm saying like there's this incoming energy this very 
interesting incoming energy of like the higher realms uh I'm feeling a strong with this king of pentacles. This king of pentacles is really um He's very much into alchemy, magic, manifestations, law of attraction, uh, of evolution, really putting energy into the betterment of, of yourself and putting a lot of time, energy, effort into that. Uh... I feel like after a time here of getting things situated, you will be coming into or getting into another a comfort zone again coming up here and really with this 10 of swords, it's like with these, I love, I love this so much because we're really looking at moving forward in a very deliberate way, but also bringing in the energies of your guides and <clears throat> spending time connecting via meditation to your guardian angel, to the archangels. And um, I can see you doing research and tapping into what you need to do on a physical and energetic level to level up, to connect, to release, to heal. We're going to jump into our sacred geometry cards. Whoa, that was quick. These cards, is this? Wow, those are totally stuck together. I'm going to take that. Um, you know what? I'm going to put these both back. And we're going to see what happens. Sorry. Sorry about that false start there. Jeez, now I'm just getting like chunks falling. Okay. I'm going to shuffle a little bit more here. Okay. <clears throat> here we go. Dream Weaver. Card number two, Dream Weaver, Laying Foundations, Manifestation. There we go. This feels, this feels m much more right. <laughs> <laughs> then those two that plopped out and were stuck together. Uh, Dreamweaver, card number two. Let's take another look at that. And again, this is from the Sacred Geometry Healing Cards Guidebook. Or Healing Cards. And and um, it, it really incorporates quite a lot. So it's a pretty i really like this oracle it's very new to me but i love it okay laying foundations manifestation i am in full control of my life which allows me to manifest my dreams and desires you have pulled this card today because it's time you created some firm boundaries in your life but first you must surrender your fear of making mistakes dream weaver will help you create strong foundations and balance which will help you on your path by taking back your power you will regain a sense of balance and realize where you've been limiting yourself it's time to take charge of your life and manifest your dreams and desires so that's what i was saying here with with this card here the king of pentacles this is totally about alchemy and manifestation and and releasing and bringing bringing new energies in and connecting and all that so this is very much in alignment with that 
Sacred Geometry. Dreamweaver is an adaptation of Spider's Web. Spider... <coughs> Excuse me. Spider is the wonderful creature of her creator of her home and foundations she is adaptable and changeable and builds her web over and over again each web is unique and a true masterpiece metatron's cube which has been used to create the web is one of the most important patterns in the universe as it holds within it the map or blueprint of creation and all five platonic solids the cube and the doctahedron are used to create balance as the cube is earth and the doctahedron pertains to the ether or spirit. By building a firm infrastructure, we ground ourselves to Gaia. As our foundations grow upward and outward, we create perfect balance and harmony within our lives and connect to our soul purpose, generating a beautiful flow of energy. We are the master builders and we reap what we sow. We create what we perceive. Thus, this template is perfect as a manifestation grid as well as allowing us to create the balance needed in all aspects of our lives and practical application. Place this template in the wealth corner of your home or business and grid accordingly. The wealth corner is the furthest left corner from the front door or any given room, Western method. Or the southeast corner uh, by the Bagua. Allow the vibration of this card to work with you to manifest your dreams and desires. While within, well, sorry, while with intention bringing in the money needed to help keep you supported. You can place words on this template, such as money comes to me easily, freely, and frequently. Remember, taking this, remember, asking for this guidance without putting in the hard yards won't work. <clears throat> I'm so sorry. I am stuck here. Remember, asking for this guidance without putting in the hard yards won't work. Card numerology. Seven, the underlying vibration and of manifesting is eight. Crystal suggestions, citrine, smoky quartz, cinnabar, carnelian, and moss agate. Animal medicine is spider and the essence, spider medicine essence, condor medicine essence, owl medicine essence. Okay, so since you don't have this card, so it's not like you can go and place this card in your, um, and make a grid and do all that, but you can do all the rest and um, definitely work to manifest allow the vibration of this card so just think on it i'm going to i'm going to hold it up here nice and straight for you with me out of the frame and just take a look at it take it in let's see where i can go here And I'm sure you can also find this online um, <clears throat> as well. But just think about it or just keep it in your mind's eye. You can even draw it out for yourself. It's not a difficult pattern here. So you've got your X and your line in the middle and then the your doctahedron shapes going around like a, a web. <laughs> Uh, spider webs with all your, with your circles coming out of the center. Very cool pattern. So this is truly just, it's about the underlying message here is think about what you're manifesting and, and the patterns and the balance. Mo most importantly, what kept coming up for me here when I, as I was reading this <coughs> is about balance. And what's really interesting is that we, um, the eight comes up um, again. So we have the eight of pentacles, a very, very, um, very rich card, very action oriented card. But we have 10 of cups, king of pentacles, 10 of swords, king of cups. So we have this really 
um, strong, supportive energy for your manifestations. Let's not forget we have the wheel. So we have a lot of energy coming in, forward movement energy, a lot of change coming through. And that is... Um, that is directly tied see the strength card so so you're very you're you're very powerful in in manifesting um and it's almost like Whatever has whatever we talked about in the beginning, whatever is like things were on pause or you're stuck or you had to wait for something or, or get through a certain thing, whatever that is, was very purposeful. It wasn't just like, you know, stuck in time. It was very purposeful for you to build up energy and momentum. So whatever other stuff was going on you were working on definitely helps with this. Um but like kind of the bottom line here with this card, don't forget dream weaver, dr weaving your dreams, being able to manifest what you desire and, um, and using that mantra to, and you write it out, talk about it, sing it, whatever about, about, you know, what's coming in for you. <coughs> Man, this is annoying. I'm so sorry. My third eye has been pulsating since two days before the full moon. <laughs> and it's just like, and when I start to connect and do readings, it starts to really do it. So I'll have this like post nasal drip thing going on, which is really annoying. So anyway, I'm sorry. I apologize. Okay, so we're going to move on here to the archetype cards. Let me move some of this out of the way for now. And working with uh, Kim Cran's archetype cards, just the selves. So she, she separates, whoa, she separates these into the selves. So the archetypes, the selves, I think there's 50 cards or something like that. Or I can't remember. There's a lot of the selves. Then the places, archetypal places, tools, and initiations or themes that you may be going through. We're just going to work with the selves cards and the tools cards um, for this reading. Okay. Okay, got the self card. And now let's get the tools card or the tool card, I should say. Okay. <clears throat> so for the self, we have the judge. And for the tool, we have the offering. So let's dive in here. All right. So let's get into the judge. Card number 14. So again, these cards are so interesting. The judge. Let's see what we have to say about the judge. The critic, the diplomat, the advocate. The judge has an incredibly important job. They work every waking hour of every day, helping us discern what is safe, true, and just. When this archetype remains unconscious or is captivated by fear wise discernment turns into painful judgment of self and others ironically the judge's energy can be the seed of racism bigotry and fear-mongering this is the judge out of balance building walls separating from other when this 
Oh, sorry. When? Oh. No. Oh, that's just a, okay, sorry. <laughs> when this same discerning force is made conscious and healed, however, the judge may be found advocating for civil rights causes, standing up for the underdog, providing resources for those in, needs, in need, and forgiving again and again. Love is the deciding factor. Awakening this archetype is essential for all the complex times we are in. Get your judge in order. The world needs it. Discernment, advocacy, right action, and compassion when light and when dark. Critical, punishing, unforgiving, and built a oh, wall building. The judge's energy is contagious when we feel judged. Walls go up all around. Similarly, when we feel accepted, the entire world softens. Very, very true. Gandhi had an incredibly illuminated inner judge. He was a lawyer. He practiced silence one day a week in order to, to hone his discernment while on his revolutionary path. So... What I'm hearing with this is maybe it's kind of about the critical mind, the critical um, kind of perfectionist, it needs to be a certain way kind of energy is what I'm picking up here. Um, But, and then also that discernment thing, that like taking time, because there's this process that, that's being restructured here and it's about balance. It's about foundation. It's about being in balance. And so being, having a good understanding of where you are and how you feel and where you're going and what you need and what you don't need and all of that. And I think because you're going through this transitory experience and on your way to like figuring out what's next and really like this dream weaver card, really weaving your manifestations, weaving what you want and where you're going. I think part of that is figuring it out. So knowing to figuring out that. And so that takes discernment and as things roll and move, like what's coming through here with the um, the wheel to start off your tarot. Uh, <clears throat> we have the need for assessment of the situation, of what's coming through. Also because it's, it's kind of under a new framework and paradigm. So your perspective is different. So it's kind of like you're needing to relearn how you judge things. I'm also picking up that, you know, I'm talking to either an, an empath who doesn't know that they're an empath and is starting to pick up or is learning about being an empath or is just coming into that awareness again. If I didn't mention it in this video, I have um, I have ebooks. One of those ebooks on my website is the Essential Empath Guide, and I feel that coming up here is like because of the shifts that have taken place, because of what the focus was. It was just a natural progression to get into some spirituality, metaphysics, uh, awakening stuff that's kind of led in this like empath and light worker and all that sort of stuff. So it's seeing the world out of a different lens for different reasons. It's very multidimensional what I'm looking at here. Um, so to, so to, to understand the need to 
be discerning from a new perspective that is still developing whoa okay the offering is the tool this is a great card i love it um let's find the offering here um oh there we go almost there there it is the gift the present the sacrifice unlike many of the other cards in the deck the offering carries a clear as day message and a call to action as you may have guessed it is a time for something to be given and given up for the sake of the bigger picture if nothing comes to mind immediately, though it's likely it will, take time to, in meditation to consider what must be offered and who is to receive it. It's likely you'll feel attachment and hesitancy. You'll make excuses, but recognize the link between the word sacrifice and the word sacred. One leads to the other. When we offer up something to the greater good, we lighten our load and become more able to serve. Imagine for a moment if you were to offer your whole self unconditionally to the whole world. For now, start small. So when light, generosity, donation, volunteering, when dark, giving with expectation, keeping track. And... Once a week, Gandhi gave up speaking for a day. Oh, so this is coming up twice. Okay. Now, offering himself to divine silence. The offering can come in all shapes and sizes. Wow. Okay. There is a gift you've been thinking of giving someone special. And if there's a gift you've been thinking of giving, giving someone special, now is the time. But what's really striking me is interesting because this, I've read a lot, as several of these are, I mean, this is a new deck to me, but this Gandhi thing with silence for a day is very interesting. And um, we do, as I'm looking at these cards, we do have a lot of solitude to, and quiet kind of action happening here let's start with the king of cups then the ten of swords then the king of pentacles Not the Ten of Cups, because there's two people there. And even though we can't see them talking, they may be. But we have the Eight of Pentacles. We have the Strength card. And then we have the Wheel. All of these cards, except for that one, the Ten of Cups. And we can't even see. They could be sitting there completely silent. It didn't say Gandhi was in solitude. He said he was quiet. He was not talking, not speaking speaking, feeling, thinking, judging, paying attention, all of these things. So this, since it's come up twice, I think that's something to really think about and to consider for yourself, dear Gemini, to maybe take some time in the next week or whenever it is that you may watch this to spend a day in quiet in silence and just pay attention and just try it for a day um aside from that the offering because that was really interesting <laughs> it's like that's coming up twice that's really interesting um and aside from that with the offering um this could be a lot of things, but I really feel like there's a need for balance with this. Like I'm seeing, cause I'm like, is this more giving to yourself? Uh, yes. Is this more giving to others? Yes. I got yeses for both of those questions I just asked telepathically. 
So what this tells me is that there needs to be balance in your offering. You need to give to yourself what's going to help you um, boost up that foundation, that solid, that like again, Ten of Cups, King of Pentacles, Ten of Swords, King of Cups, the Strength card, the Wheel card. Like we have all these components in place and so the only thing that's needed here is is to really f focus in on pumping that up getting it stronger um offering to yourself some much needed time, energy, effort. And also I'm like, so I asked, is this more offering giving to others? And then again, the answer was yes. So that balance. So this is, this could be, I'm um, seeing, seeing that your, your elderly neighbor has a yard that needs to be, cleaned up and and that's something that you could do and it would make you feel really good it would make them feel really good that's an offering um cleaning out your garage and organizing your uh donations um volunteering at a homeless shelter um helping somebody that you know that works for themselves that is trying to better the world and offering them some some energy and time volunteering in that way um so there's you know those are just ideas things that are coming to mind um that little pictures little visions that i'm seeing but it could be what whatever it is that comes to you but i feel that that there's something through these acts of silence of giving to yourself something that you've wanted but you've been holding back on i'm also hearing that with the offering like is there some type of upgrade that you really need and you can actually do it but you've been holding off for some reason maybe again out of fear being scared that it's not the right time or you shouldn't do that or treat yourself or something like that and all that i'm seeing here with the king of pentacles the ten of cups the the eight of pentacles and the strength card the wheel card all of this is like abundance and manifestation is not the problem so stop holding back when it comes to allowing for certain aspects certain things that it, that are needed in your life um certain it's like it's like the offering is the tool for you to get more tools or something like that like there's things that you've been holding maybe holding off on upgrading or or whatever or investing in if it's yourself working with a healer a coach um going on a retreat taking a vacation um buying a new car i mean there's there's quite a bit here that's that i'm seeing that's coming through that's in that same um same types of things but nevertheless it's about giving to yourself so let's get into the hidden worlds oracle here see Okay, there we go. That didn't take long. We got card number 15, the dolphin collar, pure, joyful friendships, loving help. With the dolphin collar. I love this card, by the way. I love this entire deck, but some of the... <coughs> some of these cards excuse me again some of these cards are just extra potent for me okay card number 15 the dolphin collar pure joyful friendships loving help 
There are those who can call forth the powers of nature, the messengers of the mother and of the great spirit. But when we gaze upon nature's marvels, we rarely see the ancient ones standing in the in their midst, stirring again and again the cauldron of the planet and allowing us to see all the beauty and wonder that is here. The dolphin collar steps forth at dawn and... To this being, the ancient relatives of the humans, the people of the sea who will move through and around the waters to cleanse and clear the sacred oceans, come. They reawaken within the waters their purity and their song, and the dolphin caller will transfer their song and gift and clearing energy to the land, to the people, as they go about their day. So many now are beginning to arise from their slumber and not just the slumber of sleep. They are awakened from their slumber of the soul. So too are you as the dolphin caller and these magical beings of the oceans now call you to awaken to your own possibilities, to a new beginning, not only each day, but a new beginning for your very soul. A time of play, of release, of cleansing, and of zest and joyful friendship is available for you. We become like those we are surrounded by. And these beings will lift the spirits and remind you of what friendships can be like. No matter what is taking place in your life, the dolphin's energy is now shared with you. So you can feel the freedom and fluidity, the soaring grace and power of these oceanic marvels. You are their friend and the dolphin collar will send it to you this energy until you feel your own exhilaration rise and you laugh again with the sheer joy of being alive. Your soul will revel in your happiness and you will thank the dolphins and this caller who has known of your need and has now sent the help you have long been asking for. Friendships too are part of this card's energy to have moments when you can share the joy, bringing to you an exquisite sense of being loved and accepted and delighted in. And illumination mantra, help is on the way and you will soon experience joyful companionship. Oh, that's so lovely. I told you it was a great card. <laughs> so many different things going on there. The energy of the sea people, the sea fae, the, um, the dolphins. And of course, I know we're specific about the dolphins here, but I was really picking up on whale energy as well. Um, and the, the connections to nature, the... Um, just the the ocean itself and how beautiful and magical it is um, and and m like mostly the energy coming through here is um, is about the the new it's like this new well, I should say this, and I'm going to do a separate video about this, but last night as I was feeling in the energy of the new timelines coming in with April and feeling just, it's been very interesting energy that I've been feeling the last couple of days. And I'm super um, connected with Gaia. I work with Archangels and Gaia and I channel her and she works with me in every healing that I do and and I work with Merlin and the Fae and the Galactics and like I said, all the Archangels. And so I called them all in last night as I was laying there going, what's up guys? <laughs> and the same thing kept coming over and over, which was worlds collide, worlds collide, worlds collide, worlds colliding. And this means people coming together. It was not like our literal world's, world is colliding with anything other than really a major uptick in um, soul family connections coming through with this today. Today's portal, today's the 31st of March going into the 1st of 
April going into our 44 Stargate. And if you're unfamiliar with Stargates, please take a look at my video, um, which is uh, about Stargates. I posted it recently. I will try to remember to put, put either a card up here or uh, a link. If I forget, please look it up for yourself. Just type in Stargates on my channel or leave me a comment and I will remember to do that. But the Stargate's coming up on the 4th. It's a 10-day Stargate. We have these every single month. And and so that this is just big time energy for soul connection, soul family. It could just be you coming into contact with one person, one advisor, or a group of people, or just um, a, it could be a course, a school, or something like that. But there's something coming in that whatever it is or whatever those different slices of that might be, it's all going to be to... Um, propel you and and make it so you're so much closer to um making these connections or solidifying them or or just making them stronger um but also with like the whole like volunteering thing, like this is all very much connected. The manifestation, all of these things are all like ingredients in the recipe of your overall purpose and mission and and where you're going ultimately. Like I said, you know, these the this 10 king, 10 king business, very, very interesting here. And a lot of this uh, more, more, uh, a bit more with this divine masculine energy, but it is still pretty, it's pretty balanced actually. Um, so anyway, there we have it, my dear Gemini. Um, working on your manifestation, working on your discernment, seeing how a new shift is, like the pages in the middle of turning kind of thing. Like we were done with that chapter. We're turning the page literally right now. So we need to we need to start fresh and see things from a new perspective. And with the dolphin collar coming in saying you really can connect to this energy. So please rewind this video. Go back and listen to that whole thing again about what, what the dolphin collar, collar is. How they're connecting to you. What, to, what they're sending to you. What you're to receive. And all that good stuff. So you can really integrate with that. That's the kind of thing that you need to really kind of sit with. And again, really consider this silence thing. Or at least going a day where you speak minimally. So you set that up on your calendar. No appointments, no engagements. Um, it may be something because you have family or little ones or you're busy. You have work or whatever. This could be difficult to do. But do it in small chunks if you can. Um, that sort of thing. It, it, that, it came out twice, so and I'm remembering it again. <laughs> so it's definitely a thing to look into. And aside from that, I just want to wish you a beautiful, magical April 2021, Gemini. Um, I think you're really going to... The, the collective of Geminis is really going to be working on bringing through the energy to be able to move forward into the new paradigm with a lot of um, strength. I mean, we literally got the strength card, um, which is all about inner strength and allowing for change and 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 being discerning and giving love freely and volunteering of yourself and being of service. So, um, so anyway, <laughs> now I'm really done. I promise. Thank you so much for being here. Please let me know if this resonated with you. Give this video a like. Don't forget to subscribe. Check out my website, thehealingbutterfly.org. I hope at some point in the future I can help you in one way or another. Uh, and 
I'm sending you infinite love and blessings. Until next time, bye for now.